I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? <laughs> Please, stop! Y'all thought we wasn't gonna come back to the game? Y'all just thought I said, let's throw this one in the recycle bin. Right click, slide down, empty recycle bin. Gone forever. No, sir. Why are y'all always doubting me because I be promising and don't keep them? All right, it's, it's all good though. It's all good though. I feel where you coming from, but at the same time, bro, I don't put like, I don't put like 20 hours in this game, bro. Now, let me explain. Let me explain first. Plus, good job. Hey, to some more dangin rompa too. Now, you might be wondering why I've been wearing this blue hat all year. I don't have a barber out here in Houston, Texas. I went to a barber one time. He pushed my shit. Look, look, look. I got my shit fixed. He said, no, 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 no. Let me do it. Pushed my shit all the way back further than it ever was. I said, I'm never getting my hair cut in Texas again. I fly back to California like every month, every two months. And that's when I get my hair cut. Until then... The reason that I haven't been playing Danganronpa was because a while ago I'd live stream on Twitch, which I stream all the time on there. Follow me on Twitch. As soon as the stream started, I was dancing, feeling good in my bag, right? I knocked down the, the hard drive that held all of my files on the game. I really didn't know if I had the save file or not on, like, on hand. Turns out Steam has a whole ass cloud system where they save your save files on, like, like, like online. Had I known that, I definitely would have been kept playing this, but... I used it as like a little excuse to, to, to give me a break in this game. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Okay. I think this is the best place to jump back into the game because we're doing investigation to find clues as to why he looked like blueberry jam on the ground. So. Yeah, we're gonna learn what, what is that fat ass Super Smash Bros. Mario Mallet, boy? Like, <laughs> he should have used that. Golly, my heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Ugh. Why, why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. Yo, if this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. That's got to be terrifying. The Nikamaru. No, this. It is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing? I can't deny this truth, but... Why? Is that... Bro, hold on. How do I get rid of this again? That blue stain on the top of this pillar, is that blood? Like, is that part of his little juicy oil? Like... Pause, 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 pause. As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Pause. Hey, hey what happened? A Akane, move. Move. Move it. Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekamaru. <laughs> you already know what's coming next, bro. Why? Why is Nekomaru? Why did he have to die again? Uh, well, you know you killed him the first time, right? So, it, you know, he had two stocks and you already took one. I never paid you back. You know, you know he wanted you to do it to him too and you never did it to him, Sora. I never paid you back for your help last time. She's still talking about what he, what she get out of the deal. Like what, what do you? 
<laughs> you know her tongue out going left to right wagging like a little dog tail, bro. I'm sorry, Akane. I know you sad. Damn it. How cruel. I know y'all saw the acting skills in my in my face right there. But this is just too much. Why? Why did Nekomaru have to die? I gotta go back to my accent, bro. Sonia, Sonia voice. I know I was doing it more English beforehand. You said I don't have voices. Relax, bro. I know I was doing it more UK accent prior, but I gotta go back to my Indian. Why did Nekomaru have to die? India, not Indian, not in no racial. It from India. Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? Damn, that's the gamer in her right there, bro. Because you know damn well, if it come to O's and ones, she's bodying and mastering anything out there. But IRL, it's a different story, bro. Gamers versus vloggers, bro. It's a different world, bro. Damn it. Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you. Hey, who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Aya. Looks like someone's finally pumped up. You. you. Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? What? What do you want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to all of... <clears throat> excuse me. I went to a lot of trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead. And he already let the killer break him. <laughs> How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. <laughs> you know he laughing underneath that funky ass... Bear boo boo mouth. <laughs> Nekomaru stinks still. I still smell him, y'all. That was me. You know, because he's a robot. You talking about Nekomaru? Are you. Oh. Uh, Kane, calm down. Phew. Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Um. Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. I, I, I didn't deliver that line right. Hold on. I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. There we go. Also, why would you think that Nick, that why would you think Monokuma will bring somebody back after we hear the announcement, the death announcement? Like it's it's she's he's really gone. I didn't hear none of y'all asking, can you bring him back for uh I don't I don't forgot everybody who died, bro. In other <laughs> words, sorry. A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. I'm not the only one who was thinking it, I'm just letting you know, but like I said, this is the perfect time to hop back into the game, bro. It's the Monokuma file! Absolutely. Also, this is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk. Wow. <laughs> And I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, <laughs> if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. Damn it. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekomaru. I won't forgive you. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. I don't get some food in me. I can't unleash my full power. <gasps> You're right. If we're gonna avenge Mekamaru, 
We gotta regain as much energy as we can. Damn it. I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hajime. You too. Yeah. You're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it. I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat it slowly! It'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. Bro, have y'all ever seen the movie Major Pain? If you haven't seen Major Pain growing up as a... Well, some of y'all are kids, so... Bro, Major Pain is a hilarious black comedy film, bro. If You gotta watch Major Pain, but those of you who've seen it, this nigga feeding us the cupcake Major Pain uh, ate. You know what cupcake I'm talking about, bro. Uh. That's what he's feeding us right now, bro. <laughs> splash. We all finna be Nekamaru in here, bro. Why do I say splash? Like every turd that y'all boo boo splash and it do. Every, every boo boo splash, bro. And if it don't splash, it you gotta you gotta eat more oatmeal, bro. I know what else to tell you. We ate our food in silence. Slowly. My blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The killer and you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However, um, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in the strawberry house? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Hmm. That's weird. They should have came to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. Unbelievable. Jeez, how unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> now, do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. <laughs> hmm. I hear... I hear something. Um... Huh? What do you hear? Huh? <gasps> Could it be Nekomaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's already dead. Yo! Oh well. Now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? There we go. That's the sound. Huh. They're going to come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I got to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> All right. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. Right. Let's do it. Oh, man. 64260. Well, that's with metal, though. I was about to say, this This dude need to get... I don't know. He need to play for the Rams because we just got washed tonight. 2020 is going to be an amazing year. You heard it here first, bro. EGH2, bro. This year was amazing, but at the same time, it was more for me than it was for my content, than it was for my online persona. I had to get my mind right, bro. And I just feel like, like now we got the team down. We got we got the team solid. 
I know what I need to do taking over 2020. Bro, I'm telling y'all, man, this, this feels like my redemption arc. Like if this was an anime, 2020 is gonna be my redemption arc. Cause I, cause e even though I had a lot of good ideas for this year, I still had to figure out some things, bro. And I, and, and I still am, I still am. But man, like, I feel like the team is just strong right now, bro. So yeah, 2020 is mine, bro. I'm gonna have the best redemption arc on YouTube. Everybody gonna feel it, bro. The victim is Nekamaro Nidai, aka Mechamaro. And I, I'm this last thing I'm gonna say, cause I'm gonna keep it focused on the gameplay. Knowing, knowing where, knowing my goals, like, like after like solidifying what I need to do to get to where I'm trying to be, it makes everything else like cake. Just cake, bro. I got this. The victim is Nekamaro Nidai, aka Mechamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that should be considered the cause of his death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Nekamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? But see, the thing is, in the picture, it don't even look like any of his limbs were smashed like that. But regardless, Let's keep talking. Alright, let me slow down my... Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna look at everything first before I start talking to people. The pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. And it got like blue chalk on it, don't it? Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that, there's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this Nekomaro's oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. Plus, behind me is the door to Great Paul. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. It's strange that this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Okay, uh, immediate ideas. If this, if this is the room, if this room stays the same and what changes is it rotates chamber, it like rotates around to switch doors. They could have, nah, nobody's strong enough to move the pillars. Let's just keep playing. Let's just keep playing. Huh. I see. I got it. Got what? Leave it to me. This pillar is the weapon. The killer used this to beat up Coach Nekamaru. This huge pillar, bit. Damn it. If you got socked by something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, well. That's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. That's the same thing I said. Now then. Hajime, grab that end over there. Huh? I'm gonna do it! We have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. Fine, bitch. Jeez. You're more forceful than usual. Flash. You already know what that sound means, bro. When, when people strain like that, it don't matter what they're doing. All that pressure is going straight to the bowels, bro. It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's going to be, my body can take it. Power times three. No, seriously. Just give it up already. It's no use. It won't even budge. Yo, if two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. Robo Coach Nekamaru. He's definitely the only one. Tipped over pillar has been added. Cool. 
All right, um, let's look at the Smash Bros item. I hate items in Smash. An enormous hammer has been carelessly le left on the floor. It's like, it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cruel. Perhaps that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekamaru. I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekamaru. This hammer is the weapon. Where, the, where do you even find an item like that? Like, where do you, what store do y'all buy something like this from? Only time I ever see something like this is like the circus and Smash Bros. And maybe carnivals when you're trying to get the bell to the top. But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It is strange, also, no? Also, where did the killer obtain... I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, bro. That's facts, bro. Prior to now. <laughs> what voice? Prior to now. And I do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. New looking hammer has been added to the two bullets. Um, we gotta look at his body. It's Nekamaro's body. It's cruelly broken. It looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head was dented in. Poor guy, man. I know he done flew it though. He ain't got no nerves. That'd be the fatal wound, right? But Nekamaro's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. Not unless this nigga was turned into sleep mode. That was that was a vital key to this. If somebody knew how to turn him into sleep mode, he would he wouldn't have ex bro. How would they even? How would he, how would somebody tie his big ass up? You got me twisted, bro. I know somebody did him dirty, and I know it's Akane. What is that little bro? Do y'all see that noose at the bottom of his foot? What is that for? For Nekamaru to be this damaged, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekamaru didn't hold back. Now it's probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekamaru was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekamaru was still killed. It's definitely strange, isn't it? Hmm. What is? Well? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over. Haji, you be saying some dumb stuff sometimes, dude. Yeah! But they went against Coach Nekamaru. He ain't the type to die easily. What's that mean? They obviously didn't fight him head on. But even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to an attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekamaru was even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who'd be capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Okay, let's start with the head though. Huh? There's something protruding from behind Nekamaru's neck. There it go. Is this? That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep. Even if I have insomnia. Just press the goodnight button on the back of my neck, then I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Maybe the killer pressed this button and made Nekamaru enter sleep mode. That's my first op. That's my that's my first uh. But still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekamaru's neck. Don't the lights turn off though when you're switching from? one space to the other one 
Well, we don't know that because we weren't able to actually stand inside and do it. We left um, somebody's notepad, I think. Even if Nekamar was ambushed, ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. All right. Look at the chest piece. The cover on his chest is open slightly, but it won't open up. But it won't open up much more because the cover's all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. I'm just thinking. I'm I'm reading this and I'm I'm analyzing, but at the same time, I'm still thinking about this this next year, bro. Podcasts, videos, music, videos on both channels, music and traveling, and eating right, eating right. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna save a lot of people's lives, bro, because my aunt is sick and I know it has to do with diet and my grandpa suffered from cancer on his way out and I know it had to do with diet and I don't want none of us to be living a life full of sickness bro so if I gotta lead by example so be it if only Kazuichi was here we might have been able to open it jeez what the heck could he be doing right now all right um chest Wire. Here we go. There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nekamaro's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. And videos do include exposed videos. Yes, sir. King is back. But even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with the robotic Nekamaru first. Who did this? And... How were they able to buy Nekamaru? Also, the tip of this wire. It looks like it's been tied in a loop, but what was the point of this? Excuse me. I guess we can't talk about this. Um, all the blood, all the oil, I mean. This fluid flowing out of Nekamaru's body. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. It seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekamaru's head. Probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil. For Nekamaru, this might be similar to normal blood in humans. Which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be an easy cleanup. Now it's not the time to even worry about that. I guess for now, this is all I can do to investigate Nekamaro's body. I should back off right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, so Akane, did we actually talk yet? Here we go. Did you find anything? Hmm. Just spit it out. It looks like you haven't found anything yet. Leave it to me! We need clues, right? I'll remember something, so just wait for it. Mm. Okay. Yeah! Oh, I remember. There is something I thought was weird. Um, it happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? Like... Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound. Rumbling. Golly! What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. I guess I'm just thinking too much. Um. I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. Oh, <clears throat> I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. But that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? Hmm. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. And it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out. So I went back to my room and I fell back asleep. What's that mean? In the end, I never found out what that sound was. But it's been on my mind for a while. That sounded like, you know, that sounded like we, we switched from strawberry to grape. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just what was that sound? Mm. 
You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning, but I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Hmm. Why? What the hell? I went to the trouble of remembering that and you've got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. So when she says that, the first thing that comes to my mind, y'all, is the fact that everybody usually wakes up at the same time, right? And I can't remember. I think at I think Tai Chi, Monokuma Tai Chi starts at seven o'clock. Now, if the dudes asleep on one side and the girls asleep on the other side, who's to say? Bro, I'm always gonna be looking at Akane as the as the murder suspect, bro. I have to. She's the prime suspect so far. Who's to say she couldn't be the one making that sound by going into the other side, right? Before everybody wake up, cha changing or no no going to the going to the dude's side, and then making some weird shit happen. I think that's what it was. Like either a guy came over to the girl's side or wait a minute, I can't remember where Nekamara will sleep at. Bro, I gotta watch the previous episode back before I, I start the trial. Huh? Huh? What's this? Did you find something? Well? Um, under Nekamaru's body. No, wait. There are small, rock-like fragments underneath Nekamaru's body. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. Like, come on. And what do you mean, rock-like fragments? See? Here, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mechamaro's body. Well? But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Mechamaro's body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. There are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? I think what she's saying is somebody knocked the pillar down but why would there be oil? Like, would somebody re really like paint Nekamaru blood on the top of the pillar? Because I think what she's saying is the pillar fell down first and then Nekamaru's body fell down on top of the rubble. Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. I think that's what she's saying with that. That's more of like, uh, like a timeline situation than it is, you know, <clears throat> anything see. else. I see. Um, in this case's Monokuma file, there is no written time of death, right? Didn't that happen when Ebuki and Hyoko died too? Oh, did it? What is that about? See, when people start acting like that, bro, I instantly like antenna just go up, bro. But. The reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery surrounding their murder. Could that be the case this time too? Um. By the way, I, I would like to <clears throat> I would like to confirm this just in case. Um. Ultimately, is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? Well. And that's the only thing we can think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Great Tower, there we go. It still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means? The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor and lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's clone portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. Yeah, that, that should be the case. Then... Then it is decided. The two towers are the same building. Which means the scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. <clears throat> How does that pertain to Nekamaro's murder? Right, I'm sitting up here like, okay girl, so what? 
Let's look at this pillar. There's nothing strange about this pillar. Um, maybe the lock on the door? But well, that's always been there. Has it? What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. The door at the far back has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. It looks like it's a sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from each, every direction. And it even has a padlock on it. Why did they do something like this? I'm sitting up here thinking that this door was always locked, but I, but it was locked until we were able to show it was, you know, to the other side. Um. The, the other uh, tower, I'm saying. Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with the key. If that's the case, we wouldn't be able to enter this tower from the Strawberry Hall side. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. Facts. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with the chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? Hmm. I guess for now, I've checked out everything in this place that caught my attention. Uh-oh. She's thinking about something. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Hmm. Well, the final dead room. The final dead room. What the heck? Yo, why are you bringing up that place all of a sudden, though? So... Well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, and the wire that tied up Mechamaru. All the evidence at this crime scene consists of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, and there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. So that's why you mentioned the room. Hanakuma said beyond that room, there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yep. Yeah. So if we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Then... If so, let us go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Well? Then, I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Over, stop. You ain't doing none of that shit. You think I'm finna sit up here and let you die? I got it. Sit back. Huh? What, what, what are you saying? You were the one who said that place was dangerous, right? You? Man, it's noisy. I can't focus at all with all this noise. Sorry. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing since the, before the investigation started. A ringing sound since before the investigation. Now that reminds me. You've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Akane, what kind of sound is it? Um. It's like this high-pitched alarm clock sound. It's probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be? Maybe it's better if we go check that sound first. Hmm? Are you gonna go check it out? Then you guys go. I, I'll stay here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Sonya's okay, but how come you're not going, Kane? Thank you, Haji. Press her ass, bro. Uh, hey. Well, that sound is annoying, and I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hajime, it's okay if it's just the two of us. Hold up. You right? <laughs> you, you are right. You are right. Hold my hand though as we walk. Come on. Akane says she wants to stay here. Huh? <laughs> oh. I 
get it. She she doesn't want to leave Nekamaro's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Yep. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah, if you say so. Yo. Great house hallway. I hear the sound now. That's the phone upstairs, ain't it? Yep. Now that we've come all the way here, I can definitely hear something. Yep, it sounds like it's coming from the floor above us. But what could it be? I'm already on it, bro. Yeah, that's for sure the phone in here. Bro, who's blowing up my line, though? Jeez, it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. The phone? Bro! Bro! Let's just pick up the receiver and press the... Hey, hey, hey! Right. hey. Uh, oh, you finally answered! That voice. Is that you, Fuyihiko? Jeez! Do you know how long that phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick it up. What are you guys doing? Are you all still in Strawberry House? Like... Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. And we can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the Strawberry Hall door button is broken too? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Y yeah, I I'm, I'm listening, dude. Anyway. Everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? Wow. We're safe, but we can't find Nekamaro anywhere. Do you know anything? Sorry, bro. Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it. So that's what that was. Shit. Why did it have to be Nekamaru? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Great Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already- I see. Great Tower. If the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and- Holy shit, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door so they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Dumbass! Damn it, that dirty bastard. What about another way? Is there any way you guys can come to this side? Well, yeah. I guess we just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, then the hell will he, right? Like... Based on what Kazuichi said, it's gonna be hard for him to fix the Strawberry Hall door without parts. But he said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. Are you guys gonna be okay? Damn right. Yeah. We'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. My nigga, have y'all eaten over there? Did Monokuma surprise y'all with some bean bread? Until then, it's up to you, bastards. Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House? Apparently, the others can't come over here because the elevator is broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator is out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. But that's not all. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to Strawberry Hall? Um. Then that door, is it blocked from both sides? I wish I had my mouse. I will point to y'all where I think they're talking about. It's in front of this, this door with the two red 
right side. So like it has to be on the other side of that because they can't get the door open, which then means that they can't rotate the circle. So if it's already facing, if it's already on the great side door, how would they be able to? So it has to be somebody from, from grape tower because you can't lock with chains and then get through the door and then break it. Like that don't make no sense. There's a sturdy chain tied around from the inside. And if the button is also broken on the outside, then yeah, that seems to be the case. Unless, unless they, okay, two possibilities right now. They either, the, per, the killer was either in the grape tower. No, no, because you got to remember that sound that Akane mentioned. So. If the sound happened, then that would mean the killer could have came from Strawberry Tower, went inside, killed Nekamaru. The chains would then be on the Grape Tower door, chain that up, run back through Strawberry Tower, push. Oh, wait a minute, though, because the tower would have to then rotate back. So that's impossible, actually. I'm confusing myself. Let's just keep going. Do y'all feel where I'm going with that though? No. Y'all never do. Hmm. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? I'm not sure. But there is something strange about that. Um. I would like to investigate that in more detail. But if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means... For now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going over there. But regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator. All we can do for now is put our hope in him. You're right. But Monokuma isn't going to wait. I doubt we have that much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix it soon. If not, wow, I guess time is just passing. Hey, hey, hey. are you, are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Damn right. Nagito, I'm talking to you. Huh? Jeez. Don't, huh? Me? I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry. And I was just thinking. Hmm. You're probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I had been listening to you. Nekamura was killed, right? Then that body discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Out of everyone here, it just had to be Nekamaru. Damn it! After what he went through to come back to us. Damn it! How pitiful. It's tantamount to be killed twice. Truly, he was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey! Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Ugh. Is it alright if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should... Did you call for me? Get the Monokuma file, right? <gasps> At least it's not that other face this dude be making. Golly, that face scared me, bro. Whoa! He's here! Now then. It seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place. So this is for you. Red bean bread and milk. They went way more hours than, than we did. To get some food and there's a bonus item it's the monokuma file yeah, yeah, yeah let's let's bring them up today bro. do your best come on satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best on the investigation why <clears throat> is the monokuma file being treated like a bonus item ah! whatever man let's just eat Eating should come first right now. Damn right. Y you're right.
Y'all know this is my song. Hold on, let me let me hit y'all with it. Oh, 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 oh. My dumb ass went high when that shit went low, bro. And then my auto tune is still trash. Like, why are you making me sound like that on my channel, bitch? It's okay if you guys eat. But can you hear me out while you're at it? What do you yearn for? What is it? Well, <clears throat> I was thinking about what we should do and I wanted to discuss it. Hold on. Well, I was thinking about... Oh, yeah. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuuchi fixes the elevator. True. There is no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it's, it seems as though they've made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbol of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, yeah. Fine. It seems that we too shall begin the investigation on our end. Though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with mere child's play. What? Ah, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up from the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Ah, such beauty. There is no higher honor for me than to have... <laughs> this nigga is really in love with like this. This whole situation, he in love with, with Hope's Peak, bro. There is no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So, we need to be grateful toward Nekamaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well... Regardless, whose side should I be on for this case? What? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, you guys. Why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Then let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Oh, I think I'm playing as Nagito right now, no? Or maybe Makoto just isn't, I mean, I keep doing that to this dude. Hajime just isn't, you know, here. Damn right. Oh, we get to see their point of view. I am Nagito. That's why he was waking me up. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Great... Okay, see? Now I'm starting to get my facts right. Okay, now let's think about this. Now, now, I'm, all, now I'm looking at Kazuichi as the killer, bro. Kazuichi or Akane, because remember my plan. If we can pull up that same picture of the towers. Now, let me just keep playing though, because I think one of them might have heard the, the sound too. And whoever plays dumb, acts like they don't know what they're talking about. I'm looking at you crazy, bro. In order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to use the elevator first and go to the Grape House. <clears throat> That was before 7 a.m. since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. But when we actually got there, the button on the hall door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't even enter the hall. I mean, <clears throat> thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. 
So Fuyihiko suggested that we use the phone and call Grape House. This too must and be the will of causality. Was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. But then how was Nekamaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously he went before the elevator was disabled. That's what's throwing me off. Where was everybody sleep before this happened? Because now they're saying, was it? Or I was the one sleeping in Grape Tower. Duh. Nekumaro stayed behind. All the guys stayed in Nekumaro and I was offered the room at Grape Tower. That's why I was at the tower when Nekumaro died. Got it. They, they sat up here and showed me who was sleeping where. And my dumb ass is still sitting here talking about. Damn, who could be sleeping? Which tower? Damn. Like. Why am I beating myself up like this, bro? This is not self-love, bro. This is not self-care, bro. And when was that? You. Sorry, y'all. Whatever. All right. Idiots. If we knew that, this wouldn't be difficult. Wow. No. We might know what time you went to Grape Tower. You serious? Huh? Seriously? Look at him now. It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean you personally witnessed Nekomaru going to Grape Tower? Hey, hey. When was the sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? Seriously? That thing was super loud. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be on the same same wavelength as trash like me. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. In my ass, who the f is that? Hmm, Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. I understand why the school would immortalize such an important person in a portrait. But why would they put it in a place like this? What are they trying to show me? Hmm. Just as I thought, <clears throat> this telephone is connected to Grape House. If it means, if a means of communication was prepared, it's as if something like this was expected to happen. Well, I'm probably overthinking things. You gotta love Nagito's spirit, minus the depressing negative side, like his positive side, you gotta go. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise in the, in the ringing clock. What was all that about? You. Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh? Uh. So that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. And I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. the hell the sound was super loud so i rushed out of my room that's not the sound of the door so i may have that all wrong and as i went down the hall toward the lounge hey hey, hey. what are you doing look 5 30 though maybe that bro that's a distraction that's a distraction bro because that is not the same sound akane heard bro they're not fooling me akane you suck or it could be him playing dumb, bro. Look at, bro. Look at, <laughs> yo, look at this nigga Gundam, bro. He not even mad. He, he more mad for his rats. This raucous, it 
that's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. I, I, I know I'm in the middle of doing that. And that's when it finally stopped. Ah, man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Uyihiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why, why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound. But you sure seem to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. You seemed... Coincidence, hmm? Huh? What? Do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Aw, oh, man. Man. Thanks to Fuyihiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. There we go! Huh? Hmm? What was that sound? What's going on? Look, all of them are right here, too. Could that have been Nekamaru? This pressure. Bro, Sonya. I'm looking at you nuts right now, girl. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building is going to collapse, right? Hey, hey, Kazuichi. Stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's when it happened. I see. So you're the one who was clinging to Fuyahiko. That's obviously wrong. Th that's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out. But in the end, nothing else happened. Also. And not just that. We all felt really weak. So we decided to just go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm. I see. Yep. What you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Stop. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for that rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you... Hey, you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course I'm not. For now. Hey, hey, hey! Excuse me, golly. That for now line is what's making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? Wall clock has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Yeah, let's look at this wall clock real quick. This is the clock everyone's been talking about, right? Hmm. I never knew this clock had an alarm function. The alarm is set to 5.30 a.m. That probably means something. Yeah, somebody set that up right here. Hey, you said that you witnessed Nekamaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. <laughs> Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey! And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head out from the lounge... That's the thumbnail right here. It's the 
thumbnail. My nigga need a new barber though. Fuck. Them parts is not it. That look like symbiotic growth going on the back of your head like a big ass virus. Symbiotic growth. Where is my mind at right now? I saw Nekamaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why would Nekamaru wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekamaru. Until just now. Then, from the time you saw Nekamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? What, Nikita? What are you talking about, my man? What are you talking about, bro? Huh? W was I right? You. Of course not, asshole. You're completely wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Peko or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Golly, Nagito. This nigga has no, like, like, sense of social anything. No social cues or nothing, bro. Yep. I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekamaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekamaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekamaru during that noise. If so, it must have been Nekamaru's final scream before he breathed, breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on. If Nekamaru died when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekamaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm. It might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm. A rumbling noise, huh? Did something heavy fall over or something? I'm sitting up here thinking it was the door, I mean the chamber turning, but that rumbling noise was the pillar. Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here. <laughs> What's the elevator's fix? I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi ran downstairs, complaining for some reason. Jeez. So what should we do now? Ah, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounge of both Grape House 
and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I wouldn't guess I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. What are you talking about, boy? Huh? Where are you going? Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. This bastard doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. Oh man, I can't let them face that danger. I must be the one. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. Whoa. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, it, it might be good to check and make sure they're really blocked off. All right, elevator first. Nagito kind of cool right now, bro. I'm not even joking around. He he he's stepping up, bro. Ain't he though? Ain't he though, boy? Golly, bro. It's the strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall. Based on what Fuyahiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer's intent. I can think of only one explanation. Ah, uh, Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Yeah. That was probably it. Alright. So it's actually broken. And the elevator. Which would be right here. If I press the button next to the elevator. The door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Man. Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. But that cover is locked. So they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm. Are there any tools in this building besides you? Ah. <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. There shouldn't be. I don't really know if they're forced it open with a tool anyway. I'm sitting up here thinking we may not have tools. But Nekamaru is a whole ass robot. He could have done something with this. Who knows? The control panel on this side wasn't the wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on the grape house side that's broken then. Yeah. If the one on this side isn't broken, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there too. Plus, the elevator is stuck on the grape house side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to grape house? Ah. Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey! Hey, I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. You. Jeez. I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? 
Megiddo. Whoa! It, is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If we're gonna explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? I don't remember where he got that from. You serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time. Huh? Is there something wrong? Ah, uh, it, it's nothing. Give it here. Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? That multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. Well, what the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? I don't really get it, but well, as long as I'm just checking the compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. All right. Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and the strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. It's Sonia. That person. They should still be at Grape House, but... No. It's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I, invest I finish investigating that room. Let's do it. Move, Pennywise. The final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within will, re will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekomaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. That's the case. I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. Oh my gosh. It's an escape room, dude? I see. So this is the final dead room. It feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. Did the door just lock? I see. The door is designed to automatically lock. It's not I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. Oh, if not, I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. Oh, I think it, I think it forgot a word. It's not like I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. I wish I could have gone this whole gameplay without you. Okay. <laughs> wow! And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. And I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while. But I never expected to see you here. Huh? Nagito? Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I... I... I heard the body discovery announcement. And I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside? You're a fool from head to toe. <laughs> I am truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um. Get in your way? The life-threatening game is gonna start soon, right? You'd be annoying if you got in my way. C could it be? Uh, are, are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, 
I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong! You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. <laughs> I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? Now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Oh, shit. All righties. Nagito, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Leave it to me. Bring it on, escape game. It sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Oh my gosh, all right. Um, where should we start, y'all? TV first. This television looks broken. This is a horrible start. <laughs> Why would I click this turn off TV? All right. Drawers. Right drawer. Hmm. This it looks like some sort of password. I got it. The first letters of the days of the week are probably the password. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. I doubt it's that simple. Second drawer. Let's see. Pliers, huh? This might be useful for something, so I should grab it. Nice. It's locked. It won't open. Bro, um, so funny. So, when Dante had first came to the EGHQ earlier this year, first thing we did, it was me, him, Danielle, Joe, Liz, me, PG. We all went to an escape room, right? And it was so intense. <laughs> The thing about escape rooms, like we are all goofy ass people. Well, when we got in there, bro, we turned into fucking Inspector Gadget in there, bitch. I'm telling you, bro, we was getting up out of there. Escape rooms are so much fun. If you got a group of friends, like four or more, I encourage you look into your local escape room. That's something that I want to do a lot of, but you can't even vlog stuff like that. Cause if you put it on the internet, everybody knows how to get out. But man, escape rooms are one of my favorite pastimes, bro. I don't, as I'm getting older, I don't really be in the club too much no more. I don't be at the bar. But I'm all for like VR rooms, uh, comic book gaming stores, my nigga, uh, escape rooms. I still go to the bar too, don't get me twisted. And I still go to the club, but like I just don't do it as often. Homebody, bro, getting older. There's something written in blood on the wall. Um, It's the number six. These blood symbols alone don't make any sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Hmm. What's this? Ah, it's a laptop. It looks like it's on, but it's locked, so I, I can't really access it. It doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we going to turn it on? This must be the unlocking device for the iron bars. I probably have to put in the four digit passcode. No problem. I have a secret plan. If you input 9,999 combinations, it'll open eventually. You're right. But there don't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. So not only was your plan idiotic, but there's no way to implement it either. So it's like, just shut the fuck up, please. Yeah. What was that sound? It looks like it might be under this lid, but it doesn't seem to open. Not just that. What's this red light that's on top of this device? Are we gonna click on it or? Two. Okay, look. Three. One. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
watch the news. It says, watch the news in blood. <laughs> Ooh, um, I might get cursed just by looking at it. <laughs> it's just a secret code. Plus, it's a pretty common one. <gasps> hmm? Secret code? Nagito, do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. Common riddle? Who are you? Um, a joker dude? Like, <laughs> like what are you talking about? That was a horrible Arthur laugh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. This was also a four-digit code, huh? But it looks like you can change the numbers with this one. Alrighty. This time around, let's try the 999 com nine combinations. I'll leave that mindless work to you, Monami. <sighs> I'll decline as well. The password to open this. I have a feeling that the hint is close by. I should try inputting something. Oh, I don't know. It's you want me plushie. to punish you guys? What? It looks like this plush. <clears throat> it looks like this plushie talks when you squeeze the tummy. Thrills, chills, kills. Ooh. You want me to punish? Okay, he doesn't have anything, but okay, just watch the news, but. No way. What is this do? Oh my gosh, bro, this is dark. There's just one hanging there's just one hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful for something. So I should grab it just in case. I'm using this and I'm breaking into this desk right here. Bro, straighten it out then. What do you like? It's locked. It won't open. Bro. Oh, with the pliers. Bro, then fucking... written in blood on the floor. Um, this is the number four, right? A number, huh? It looks like a different symbol to me. Like, for instance, a symbol that you often see on maps. Like, it's pointing towards this way. Three, one, two, two. I'm gonna try that right here. I know this is wrong because of what, what he just said. Leave it to me. It pointed here, didn't it? I'm gonna ask mom. Right click, switch it up a little bit. Yeah, 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 we're using that on. Hold on, hold on. There it is, there it is. Nice. Oh, I'm sitting up here telling you that you use the wire. Serious? That's not it? Yes, that must not be it then. 
Damn, I thought I had it, bro. How is that not it, though? Come on, man. If that's not used to pick that lock, then okay, let me see the bed. There's something shining under the bed. Here we go. Yes. Yes. I knew it was going to be needed to, to reach something. Obtain best key. Nice. And then we're going to right click, use it on the door, on the desk. Scissors, if you use the... I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm in my bag right now, bro. I'm not really caring about no dog on um, voices. Hold on, hold on. I'll get back to the voices in a minute. Let me see. Maybe I can use this to cut the bear open. Enough already. <sighs> okay. Obtain batteries. Now maybe I can use the batteries. Batteries will not work on a TV. Is this laptop working? So I need a password for that. This look like it. No, no. Maybe the TV, but why would a TV need batteries though? Yeah, that's foolish. That's foolish. North. I mean, is that... Three, nine, five, seven, maybe. <gasps> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Because I saw that line on top of that six. Let's go, baby. I ain't had the Digital camera and a USB stick, huh? Looks like there's no battery inside the digital camera. Uh, but look what I got though. Look what I got on deck though. Yeah, easy work. Now we can use the digital camera. Um, I should check the picture that's inside. It looks like a photo of a space poster that's posted on a wall somewhere. Sunday, Monday. Ah, Venus, okay, V-E-M-J, V-E-M-J. That's gotta be the password for the computer. I'm bodying this. Bro, let me try. Or maybe... Whatever. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use the USB stick on this. Just as I thought. It looks like I was able to unlock the lock with this USB stick. Now I need to put the, in the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be the laptop. I got it. It's the first letters of the day of the week. Oh, that's mine. Anyway. You're wrong. Let me take a look at this again. B E M J B E M J Bro, how do I how do I select words? Oh, I gotta type, I gotta actually type it out. Nice. Is this Othello? Is this Othello? Leave it to me. What the, what is Othello? I mean, ain't that like, <laughs> Ain't there like a play from back in the day where like the black dude loved the white chick and like died for it or something, bro? What happened? 
<laughs> I'm not good at Othello. I won't be able to get out of here. Othello is irrelevant. The laptop is showing a picture of the red lights on the device that's next to the iron bars. Look closely at how the device blinks and compare it to the picture. I see. But how will I be able to input it? How? There's only one thing in this room that you can input a number into, right? Even see the first one on here. All of them are lit up except like the closest one is five, but like I don't see it on here. I mean, the closest one is two, but it's like reversed though. That one beat me. I'm not mad at it. Did you hear something? Okay. A keyhole again. Huh? Um. Huh? I don't think we did. The USB? That last puzzle was so hard, bro. Damn, I'm mad. I'm mad. I couldn't get that. Yay! Looks like we cleared it. <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life-threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Hmm? Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Are you serious? It's not opening? Didn't I just tell you that? That's... It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from isn't opening. Maybe... The game isn't over yet. C could it be? Is there any chance that... The thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Okay, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. I won't let you get away. Hurry up and show it to me. Um... Yes. It's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game. It's life-threatening roulette. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I prepared special prizes. But make sure you don't overdo yourself. Hmm, <laughs> I see. So that's what it meant. Um... What does it mean? It means the games up till now were just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. Ah! Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. See? A gun came out from there. Which means... I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? No, Nagi, I don't want you to die after all this, bro. I like you now. Hey! R R Russian roulette? Then, allow me. You can't! 
No matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami. There's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey! Uh, if that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder and spin it. After that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. You can't! Wait, you can't do that! There's a one in six chance you'll die! A one in six chance of death. Which means the failure rate is only one sixth. Hey, is, is that rule really okay? Hmm? I mean, if there's only a one sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Yo, Nagi has a death wish, bro. This dude is not cool no more for all this, bro. He's like, hey, can, can, I, can I put five bullets? Can I put five bullets inside instead? For despair and hope purposes. Remove one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there will be a one sixth chance of success. Yeah, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. That's... What are you saying? Let's give it a go. Uh, hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? This nigga don't know. What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. Look at bro's eyeballs. I don't like you anymore. Just that fast, you took back my friendship. Oh, I took back my friendship from you. He already got his finger on a trigger like... I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. I got murder on my mu... I'm done with auto-tune for life. You... you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but... Even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky student. Ooh, okay, Nagi. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? <laughs> Please! Nice, we're, we're done. Thank you, Nagi. Ah, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? <laughs> Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Yeah, that would have been me. I, 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 I'm scared of you, Nagito. <laughs> really? Oh well, let's go! The octagon should just be... <laughs> the octagon should be just beyond that door! Oh my gosh! So this is the octagon, huh? What a distorted room! Well done! Con Congratulations, Nagito! Bro, Chiaki would have got in here and got bodied, bro. She wouldn't have been. She would have got through the through the through the, through the puzzles, but bro, you know she would have died had she had to play Russian roulette, bro. She would have fell asleep as she was pulling the trigger, and guts and blood would have triggered another body discovery announcement, bro. Yeah I didn't mean to press y'all like that, but I just I couldn't believe what I just saw, bro. Give me one second. Ouch. And you even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with only one sixth chance of success. Here, I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first, the death note. All right, is this the future foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh-huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? Hey, hey! You... What are 
you giving without permission? Hmm, let's see, and one more special prize. Here you go. Excuse me. This crest is this Hope's Peak, Peak Academies. <laughs> That's right. This file, it contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning, they are profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. Wah wah? You mean that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy. No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely, I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez. Whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all, so. Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is, too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful! <laughs> hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope's Peak Academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> but looks like things are gonna get interesting. <laughs> yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Like... Anyway, Monami... Hey! Hey! No cheating! You haven't reached the end yet! Hmm? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet! Um... But... Nagito already did... What are you no, saying? No, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Uh. Get over here! Revenge of the final dead room! No! Coercion! Jeez. They're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. So if the person who also beat this, golly, if the person who also beat this came this far, did they also get a secret prize? A refrigerator here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see. There are poisons stored in here too. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different than an ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. This must be how we get up out of here. There's a door on the floor. Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No. Maybe what lies beyond this door. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. This could be the way back to Grape House. Like a, like a, like a secret chamber. That's what I'm thinking. Like, the killer could have definitely came through here. I don't know. I see. So there are a lot of firearms here too. There are handguns and grenade launchers even. 
but I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon is. I don't think it's over here either. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. Metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon is. A window. Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden me meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then, the moment I peeked out that window. Huh? This is... What I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see! So that's what it was! What I saw outside this window. If I start piecing it together and think about it. Yeah. I see. It seems. I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. Of course, this bitch ass nigga won't tell me what the fuck he saw. He gonna tell me all of his thoughts except what really matter. Fuck Nagito, bro. As expected, of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, all thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right. Everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon and the funhouse. Now, all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. Maybe the ultimate weapon is the fact that he knows where we are. And it's kind of up in the air, but that still doesn't explain where the mallet could have came from. The mallet had to have been from here. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Of course. And we're back to Hajime, I'm sure. Hey, can you hear me? It's gotta be Chiaki. Can you hear me? <laughs> If you don't get back a uh, Pokemane, like, didn't that sound just like it? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyihiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed. It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial. So maybe we should call them one more time. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. S sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think. Like... Whoa. Huh? Oh, we just... That, that trap door was the one that led here. Hello there. Why hello there, Hajime. N nigga, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up. How did you even come here, though? <laughs> Maybe I 
teleported. Huh? Okay. Hey, hey, answer me seriously. How are you able to come to this side? Hey, before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Okay. Nice. 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 Well, I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. But what was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey! Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room! Huh? Could it be? You... did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended up with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Um... Yeah, we know what it is. Man. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? <laughs> I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? Actually. You only had a one in six chance of surviving. Well. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What, what's wrong with him, bro? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal, he's crazy. That's all there is to it. I... Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. That means that somebody, it could be either side still. The killer could be from either either camp, bro. Move back and forth. Where would you even be able to do that? And how? Man. Hey, Hajime. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That's... Is that the Future Foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The, the killing school life. The old homies, yep. You mean the killings that took place at Hope's Peak Academy, right? As I recall, Kuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right? Besides Kuya, of course. Then it's just as I thought. That Kuya was the Kuya we knew, right? But... However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities? Um... For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Hey. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Okay, so now we're starting to get things connected to the first hey. game. 
what do you guys think about these strange similarities? It, it's definitely strange. Well, I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. Mm. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. That's why we keep seeing her statue downstairs. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, it's something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Jeez. Your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Well... Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. Give me that shit, bro. I would have snatched the mess out of his hand so fast, bro. Th that seal. Yep. Indeed. It's the Hope's Peak Academy school crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information. Just Hajime's information. It's just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Uh, are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because... You were... <laughs> Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. What? A backup? I don't have any kind of talent whatsoever. I drop out. Well, unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just in name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute, second string, revenue stream, but what is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a stepladder. But you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope Speak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. It, it's not like that. Stop it. Wanted to become Hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worth worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. 
You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. Golly, nigga, you going in on this dude right now. This nigga stubbed his toe when he was trying to get to the, to the grape house or something, bro. Relax. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. And I, I'm just, <laughs> that's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you are the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student there's no way you could be associated with the future foundation mm. but if it's not hajime then who in the world could the traitor be the survivor of the previous killing school life kuya would have been the most likely candidate but now that's probably impossible I don't like how that bald dude up there is looking at me getting fried up right now. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mechamaro's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. Hmm. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? It's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What? What? The hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. I guess I have no choice. And I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right, I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you just say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now is not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaro's case? We better hurry. The class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to the side any moment now. Bye now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hey, Hajime. 
it's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaro's case. So I guess the other guys probably just got here. I'm gonna check in with them and I'm pretty sure the class trial might start. <laughs> <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. Gundam. Yo. Yo. Sorry we're late. Hey. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey. Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Huh? Oh, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> <laughs> well, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees. <laughs> I see. It's just as I thought. It goes like, it's, it's like, it like turns, like rotates like that. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it, the elevator goes, it goes like this. And in the hall, you can, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a, it's not a vertical up and down. It's like a lift. Hey, what do you mean by that? Oh, that's well, obvious. Obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. Now then. All right, bro. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, the Gito began making his way toward Grape Tower. Oh my. What the hell is wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Hey, hey. See? Yep. Well? Maybe I'm supposed to follow Nagito to go look at the dead body. Hmm. You serious? Ah, Nakamaru, are you serious? Damn it! I don't know who did this, but it's pretty fucked up. Hey, now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Makan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? It cannot be. Watch, wow, he gonna jump at the opportunity because she asked. I won't forgive you. Okay, never mind. You don't know? I'm kind of voiced out right now, so we're, you're just gotta read silently. Hold up. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekamaru. D damn it! You stay quiet. Oh, Nekito snapping right now. Relax, dude. Damn it. Jeez. Ah. Yuck, I don't know what that means. Well... Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... It's 
seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone is is strange now too. But why? Well, Kazuyuki, we waiting on you, dude. Damn it! As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekamaro, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekamaro's body. Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? The Gito gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. So the Gito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekamaro died. I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his parts are dislocated. Hmm. Maybe a gear shaft broke too. Well, for now I try disassembling Nekamaro's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case. I need to look at Nekamaro's body one more time. Apparently, Kazuichi has finished disassembling Nekamaro's body. Should probably check it out one more time. Boom. Nekamaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. But... 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No, wait. Mmm. starving y'all I'm sorry over Nekamaru's body and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. You're the worst! Jeez. Well... He's fucking tripping, bro. Mmm. You don't even know? See? Now then. Well... <laughs> you don't know? It's obvious. Dumbass. <laughs> now then. <laughs> huh? 
right? Huh? Hmm. Damn right. Yep. Hey. I... Okay, I'm actually gonna save because I feel like there's a lot more. I thought I thought the class trial would happen any moment, but um, it's looking like there's still a lot more investigating to do. This is a pretty long investigation. I think I've been at this for like three, four hours now, so three and a half hours. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this up into two parts and then I'll probably add the rest of the investigation to the beginning of the class trial. So welcome back to Danganronpa, man. You know, you know, you knew it was, you knew it was gonna happen, bro. You knew what to expect, bro. Um, I am planning on finishing this game. Do not worry. Um, now I got things straightened out. I got my save files down. Um, finish Yakuza. We're going to bang out Dangan. And yeah, if you are enjoying the series and want to see it continue, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Truly hit the thumbs up button. That's how I'll know, man. Let me know. Let me know how y'all feeling about this series. Um, subscribe if you are new for more videos. Love each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video. We are not done yet. And I'll see you for more investigation in the next video. Not the class trial yet. Maybe the class trial. Love y'all. Peace.